the wrist. Greetings, I'm Shad, and there is another kind of trope that we need to test in our series, Functional Fandom, and that is, can you shoot an arrow with a message tied to it. It comes up now and then in film. One of the fa most famous examples that come to my mind is, of course, Monty Python and the Holy Grail, where we have that poor, I was going to say damsel, but <laughs> gentleman trapped in the castle, and uh, he, all he wants to sing, he just wants to sing, and so he needs to get a message out seeking help, and he shoots an arrow with a message tied to it. Message for you, sir. So we're going to be testing multiple different kind of ways to get away with that. First question is, why, why would you want to, all right? Because arrow, bow, might not be the very best message delivering, you know, um, method. They have a very limited range, and depending where the person is that you're running to get the message to, as we saw in Holy Grail, by the way. Brave Concord, you shall not have died in vain. Uh. I'm, I'm not quite dead, sir. Could be rather dangerous on, on, upon the receiver. It also depends on the type of arrow. Like This is a war arrow, and so they're thicker, heavier. They don't go as far as my other arrows. Also, poundage of bow uh, affects it as well. And there are modern arrows that are made of carbon fiber, really light, and even from like a 40 pound bow, because uh, also, Modern bows are made to transfer energy more efficiently, so even lower poundage bows shooting same weight arrows can sometimes shoot really far, but at the same time, lighter arrows on a more powerful bow, they flex a lot, they'll hit the shaft, and that can reduce energy in a big way, and so it, it varies. But we'll be con testing it consistently on the same bow with uh, these arrows, they're mostly the same. They're inconsistent between all of them in terms of the grain, the flex and stuff, but we're gonna get mostly similar uh, results because they get reach about similar ranges, but I might test it with some of my lighter arrows that shoot further as well. But it's gonna give us a baseline, especially on the best methods to attach the message to the arrow. But even then, with these arrows, we're probably going to be getting uh, between 60 and 80 meters in terms of range. With uh, This is a 110 pound bow, don't let its size fool you. It is actually more powerful than this bow right here. This is a 100 pound long bow. Uh, when I say 100 pound, it takes 100 pounds of force to reach full draw on it. And this is a 110 to 115 pound short bow. So even though it, it, in terms of weight it's lighter, its draw weight is heavier, so it's actually heavier in that sense while also being lighter. Funny that, but uh, this one shoots further than my longbow and so I'll be using this one. I'm also joined here by my new squire, Tyrant. How are you there, Tyrant? I am very good. You, you, you got a bow there? Yes. I you good to go? Today we're going to be testing messages on bows. Messages correct? on bows, yes. This, and, this and could be good. This could be revolutionary. Could be revolutionary. Could replace Mate. cell phones. Or text I mean, messaging. Not really, but but text messaging. I mean, have you ever like? I mean, I know. For you've had a phone, right? And you've got a message, and you've missed the message because it wasn't loud enough yes, or prominent so enough. If someone so, fired a bow at my head, I would. Or, 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 get or that what message. if an arrow just like landed right? I have a feeling you're not going to miss that. Yeah, I'm not going to miss that. You're going to probably notice an arrow I'm shooting. I'm going to get the physical message, and I'm also going to get the subliminal one exactly. of the arrow. Yeah, so I, I, they could work. They could work. <laughs> now. You have you have like a yes, this a is really hundred pound bow. Is that hundred hundred pound? Hundred pound, yes. The same as yours. Yeah, yeah. So and it's bigger. It'd be really hard to like draw it then because oh, if it's a hundred yeah. pound, like like yeah, like, look, like look, you look, <laughs> look, go 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 go. Oh, oh, gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, can I have a go? Can I have no, a go? No, 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 oh, no. All right, here, here, try that one. I will try this one because I'm. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. And hold it. Hold it. No, no, like, For your man, you I, need to sometimes hold it. Yeah, but we're going to be shooting arrows all day, boss. I just don't want to. I know, I know, I don't because, use all my energy. because what, what if you, like, you're, you're aiming and you've got to hold it at a full draw just yes. in case, just in case, you that's, know? That's exactly what I did. Yeah, yeah, no just difference. in case. Okay. <laughs> so, what arrows are we starting with? Starting with these ones, and Tyrant is going to be helping me out collect the arrows. You're a very fit, you're a fit, very fit man. Yes. Yeah, cardio. I am not a fan of cardio, I must you're, admit. Why aren't you a fan of cardio? Uh, I just hate it. You just hate it? Yeah, yeah. Maybe you'll like it by the end of the day. Well, you know, I think it would be a really good bonding experience if we just went together. Well, know? look, I actually, I do want to see the results of these tests, and so I will be walking down to check it out. Uh, 
but we'll, we'll get started on the first arrows. So to begin, I'm gonna shoot an arrow that has no message on it at all to see if that has any significant impact on range when we shoot an arrow that has a message on it. Now, interestingly enough, other factors might affect the range more than just the message, like wind resistance. I am shooting a bit into the wind here, so it'll be interesting to see if we can shoot further than this uh, than this test shot right here. Because also, a human body is an inconsistent platform. Sometimes, I, I, I'm able to get the uh, string back at just a fraction more, but that can increase the power draw weight of the bow by five to 10 pounds at times. And sometimes it's posture that does that, it's energy, enthusiasm, and so it's not a perfect test, but it's gonna give us a baseline at least, all right? And so to shoot this one, we'll see uh, how far I can get it. It's funny, the uh, kind of power curve of this bow it's less linear than my longbow, so it's actually easier on the first part, but then ramps up to the end. And so sometimes I can't like, was I pulling back as hard as I could? But anyway, that's our baseline. And so for our next one, we're just gonna put a, a message right on the end. So, there we go. You're in a rush, you need, you need to get a message out, you write it on, stab it on, it's on there. Let's, let's, see, uh, let's see how well this one goes, okay? Tyrant, do you reckon it'll stay on the arrow or not when I shoot? Ooh, uh, I don't know. You don't know? I actually don't know. I one. have no idea. <laughs> All right, let's, let's find out. Let's find out. It's, it stayed up. Well, that... <laughs> it's, it stayed up. Well, that... <laughs> it stuck on the arrow, but uh, when I say it severely restricted or affected its uh, range, I'll, I'll just walk to this one. Let's, uh, let's have a look at uh, how far we shot that. <laughs> that worked both better than I thought and worse than I thought. The range was absolute crap, but it stayed on. Surprise! Like the message would be intact. In fact, did you did you write a message on this for me, Ty? Not really. I was just really happy today, so I thought, why not do a little bit of a smiley face? My boss is just so fantastic. Look at that! This is like, I miss, like medieval emojis right here. If this one will be very un aerodynamic. Is that a word? Yeah, like, uh, so it's not evenly on the bit of paper, and surprisingly, that actually has, affects the arrow much more than I was expecting. And so, if anyone needs to send a message with an arrow, like you are trapped in a, in a castle or something, or trapped 30 feet away. Trapped 30 feet away, like the range was pathetic, right? But you needed to get a message away further from where you are and you can't move and uh, you couldn't get the, uh, you know, 20 seconds to walk that distance. Uh, you need to think about how you would like attach the paper um, and stabbing it on the side might be more detrimental than stabbing it directly in the middle. Okay, now I feel like you're complaining. No, no, I'm gonna try. I, I, I'm, I'm glad you were so crap and incompetent to get a piece of paper on an on arrow right, because now we can test it. That went further. Yeah. So maybe I, like, I was completely wrong when I was saying that Tyrant was so incompetent in putting the paper on the arrow. Tyrant? No, he said he was wrong. We got I think, that on camera. Uh, yeah, I, on film. yeah, I'm letting you know. Like, I, 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 think you, I think you did a good job putting the paper on, on the arrow. Right. Do, you, do, you, do you feel complete? I feel better now. Yes. <laughs> okay, cool. Now, thank you, Tyrant. Interestingly, you find the longbow harder to draw than that one. I do, yes. Yeah, and it's because the draw difficulty is more linearly. It's, it's, it's harder at the beginning, um, where this one is easier at the beginning than ramps up at the end. Um, and so it's, it's just a different beast. To get this bow to reach the same power level, the draw rate, as that one, I actually need to draw this arrow nearly right to the tip to reach 100 pound on it. To the tip? Right, nearly right to the tip. Like right, like the paper will have to touch the yeah. shaft. Touching tips, yeah. Touching tips, that's right. Where'd it go? That's too far, it's so far away. <laughs> Holy crap, it actually shot really far. Yeah, but... And the paper did not survive that. That one had a good range on it. Now we got one more, and it's one with the dodgy feather. We'll do it with this. So how, how did that come off? Did it go all the way through, yeah, you think? Went... Did it actually go through the paper? 
Well, yeah, the arrow went that way. I didn't way. see the it. The went that way. <laughs> really? We'll have it on camera, but wow, I had no idea. Um, Ooh. That's yeah, rough. I know this will damage the. There's, there's already, it's already missing a feather. This one, these arrows have not held up well. Okay, this one will do. It's just fun. It's fun shooting war bows. Yeah, I don't know why. It's the release. It's the, it, it, this is my workout. You're saying I need to go to the gym. This well, is my I, gym. I, I agree. Yeah. A good release is. It is a great, especially after a, you know big build up. Okay, okay. So this is interesting. No, that should not. Yeah, be. yeah. So. What, what Tyrant has done, because he's a very intelligent man, he has, uh, has not pushed the paper all the way through kind of the head of the arrow. See how, this isn't exactly a broad head, but it's a type of historical arrow head. And so as a result, the paper might stay on the, the arrow a bit easier. I thought about that one. I thought, but the thing is it's, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I'm not sure, because it's, I'm not sure how secure it is, but we'll see, we'll see. Stayed on. That was as pathetic as the first one. Uh, so that yeah, that message when it's on the arrow like that basically acts as a sail that can that that is that was so short. Wow, but it was almost as short as like one of the previous shots that we had as well on the other bow. But the paper did stay on. Of course, I mean I don't know how necessary it was. Next time I could just run that distance and hand it to him. <laughs> Well, you sure you could run that distance? Well, you think I can't run that far? <laughs> Cheeky bugger. Um, it did push through the uh, the message even more. Now I'm interested to shoot it where the message is now and see if it stays on. So let's do this again. Uh. Stayed on. About the same distance, honestly. But that's a, that's a fairly consistent result. So, we've got three arrows that we need to get. Good thing we have this fit squire here. Is able, to, able to help us out. This is my uh, measuring uh, arrow. And so, this tells you how far you're pulling the bow to. And for this to reach 100 pounds, you need to get to the uh, 31 inch. So, it's right there. Just to just do it. It's been a while since I've been shooting, but um, as if I was just test. Oof. There we go. We're going to see how far Tyranth can pull it back. So he's, 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 he's a confident man, and he's actually stronger than me. But it's, it's instructive to show you how, like, you use a completely different muscle set, um, and uh, and so if you're not used to using that muscle set, it's the the difficulty and difference is really interesting. But it's actually. He can still get up pretty far back. He's a strong guy. And so I actually think he would be able to get to the 100 pound mark, which is the 31 inch mark. Getting that reach the shaft. Good effort there, mate. So, but remember the first arrow we shot? Yeah. Was that further than the one that had the message fly off of it? Was it further? No. Really? The one that had the message fly off went further? Yeah. And that was from this one. Interesting. So you see this? This measures uh, your draw distance that you're able to do it on. Yeah. And so it's actually a good baseline. Did you want to give it a go and see where you can get to on that? Well, I am a proponent of measuring. <laughs> <laughs> so, just like that, don't shoot it, yeah. but uh, give, that, give that a draw. I reckon you'll be able to get it to the 31 or 32 inch mark. So, the red is 30 inches and, the thir and past the red is 31 inches. I reckon you can do it. Remember, yeah, like lift your arms high and draw it down. And if I can't, we're just going to cut it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got it. I did the whole thing. You did it. All right, we're not going to cut it then. You see? I told you you could do it. That's, that's easy. Why was that so easy? You need to commit to it. Part of this committing and also technique. You were drawing too much with your shoulder last time. I mean, I have a pretty excellent technique. <laughs> <laughs> Next one, short, smaller message, tied fairly securely to the shaft. Uh, let's see, because this one, this is the one that I think has the highest chances of success. Uh, we'll see how well it does. That's pretty good. Good range on that. Good range, and I think the message stayed on quite securely. Probably the best one so far, but let's, uh, is this one nice and secure? Yep. Ooh, it's from your accountant, so. Okay, okay. Well, who knows what it's got. I better, better shoot it very far then. Good, 
Good range on that one as well. Okay. I think I'm going to take a walk for this one because I want to see the results of those in person. Let's have a look. Hey, Tyrant. Yes. Could you grab the uh, measuring wheel? You know, all that distance that you just ran all the way here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Could you run all the way back? Oh, yeah, yeah. And grab the measuring wheel and measure from where I was shooting back to here? I could, yes. Yeah, you could. Good. All right, go do that. Will I? Yeah. What do you think? What is it? I would say 60 meters. I would say like 60 washing machines and a half or something. Yeah. Something something American. What do Americans know? I don't know. But yeah, we do need to measure the distance. So if you start where I was shooting. No. Whoa. That was something in that daisy. Guess. I'd say 55. What's it on? Higher. Higher, so 60. 70. Some. 89. Holy crap, that's way further than I was thinking. Not 69, but. 89. There we go. Um, so that means. Oh, don't no, leave it, leave it. So that would be 100 then. How much? Is it, how far is that in feet? 300 feet? 107. 107? Yep. 110. 110. Alrighty, so this arrow that had a bit more drag from the message uh, was 89 meters. And that one has the message on it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one has a crazy message. What is that? <laughs> Ye suck! God. How? How insulting! Kids these days. Who, who shot this? I demand! Uh, oh wait, that was me. Okay, never mind. Subconscious telling me things. So this was 90 something or 100? About 100. About 100. 107, I think. 107, and that was 110. That's actually not terrible. It's not the greatest range, uh, especially when you get into some really powerful bows. Uh, but for a message, okay, and it looks like the message didn't slow down these arrows too much. When it's uh, secured properly, we can get some good range. Yeah. We can, like, um, and some fantastic messages. Fantastic messages, like important messages. What situations do you think where you would need to shoot a message though? Wow. Kind of talked about this at the beginning. Well, it depends, you know, like if I wanted to shoot someone and leave a message. Like, <laughs> oh my God. like a voicemail. <laughs> Sucks to be you. <laughs> yeah, that sounds something I would probably get. Yeah, you know, so I, I could imagine the, uh, the English doing that to the French. No, that's actually a French thing. It's like that you get shot by an arrow, take it out, and there's a big like. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to talk about the French. It's. Uh, it sucks to be you. I am now speaking very French. Really interesting results. It seems like if it's a small message, tightly wrapped, not a problem. Loose, big problems. Heavier messages, you know. If it's loose, it can come off the arrow completely. So you need it secure, uh, like all things that we're. Uh, figuring out and discovering but what if it's a particularly big message like what if because you could be limited by room to write what if you needed like a full-blown letter and you're trapped again maybe if there was a trench or, or, or oh a river a, like a big river that you couldn't risk crossing and it was important information that you needed to get to the other side okay this this that's actually a viable thing big message on an arrow tightly you know, it's tight to it, so uh, let's see if this will affect uh, range, fly to the arrow. No, oh, actually, that's not bad. It's a bit wobbly, but I think that reached about the same distance. What do you think? I think I saw something fly off. Really? Yeah. I don't know what. Oh, I know. It's a feather. It's a feather. <laughs> yeah. Well, the feather was already somewhat dis detached. It wasn't looking great on that arrow. But the only way this happened is if the um, the message actually slid back and hit. I don't think it did though. Okay, Let's maybe it, it could have been. Could have been. Yes. Could have been just the thing. We'll see. We've got a couple of other messages. We got this one that's on the back of the arrow. So we'll test this one out. It seems to be a tight connection. So. Ooh, that one's wobbly. Ooh, a message came off. Can you get that on camera, Nathan? Did it get up? Oh, it's still in the air! <laughs> I think this one will come off this. Actually, it's pretty tight. Maybe it just won't fly very far. Let's see what this one does. 
Oh, that one really affected the flight. About as far as the other one. One of the things that we have been noticing, these are heavy arrows and they don't go as far, but we have light arrows that can get much further. And so uh, let me shoot some of those just for a distance measurement. You have a bigger bow than me there, Tyrant. Yes, I do. And it's what? more powerful as well. Well, logic should dictate then that you'll be able to shoot much further. Yes. All right, I'll give it a shot. This has a different grain, so it might get really wrong, no, but we'll be able to tell the difference. No, 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 we should use a red oh, one. you should use one that looks identical and yeah. be hard to tell the difference? Yeah. We should use a red one just for, you know, so everything's equal. This could be a tampered arrow. The weight could be different. The wood could be different. It's just, it's not the same. <laughs> Knew exactly what it was going to do. I might have to shoot, that's fun. I might have to shoot another one. Pink, let's see where the pink one goes. I don't know, sometimes I feel like I'm not drawing this as far back as I can. Let me really try and just... Let's, let's go for a walk, eh? Do you want to, oh, do you want to shoot that one? Give it a go. Tyrant's got him. Yeah. He doesn't have a, uh, he doesn't have a wrist guard. <laughs> What'd you say? Nothing, nothing. And so longbows have a tendency to slap the wrist if you're not used to it. So. Whatever he's saying is bull. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see if that happens. That f***ing hurt. <laughs> Slap your wrist. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it was a good shot though. I mean, should I do it professionally? No, you <laughs> Sorry, you like... played it cool though. You were just like, oh. that really hurt. It did hurt. I stand by what I said. That, what I, whatever I said was bull. <laughs> yep, I stand by it. It didn't actually hit my wrist, so it's fine. Um, could we, could you pull up no, the no, bigger deal? Let me see your wrist. <laughs> okay, that, that, that was actually a big, Big wrist slap there. I'm good. I, that was a good shot. <laughs> that was this purple, dude. <laughs> if I win the competition, I'm okay with it. All right, all right. Are we competing? Something I want to do to try and validate uh, how viable it would be to shoot an arrow with a message. And we mentioned a river. Well, we actually have a water drainage way. It's not a constant, doesn't drain, but when it, when it rains, we do have water running along. See the, the blackberry line where the trees are? And so, if I needed to pretend that was a full-size river, I need to shoot a message across it. We should be close enough that this should easily clear that. And uh, I want to see like, all right, I've got a message, we need to get over. So, so uh, there might be allies on the other side or whatever. And so I, I can't even see where that landed. I think that went in. In the, in the tea tree? Yeah. Bugger. <laughs> Shoots a bit further than I thought. <laughs> we'll have to we'll have to just find out. <laughs> I might have lost my arrow. That could be the problem. <laughs> Look at what the message did to this one. Holy. 78. And the, the message is completely, completely gone from that. So best way again, a very tightly thing, you know, message. So it doesn't hit the wind resistance and doesn't rip off because it can happen, clearly. But this one's still. Oh, this is the big message one, I think. This is one has a... Or is it? Maybe? Oh, we'll, we'll find out. So, no, not the big message. 92. Little message. 92 meters, though. That's pretty good for thick, heavy arrows. I think we need to shoot some of these lighter arrows yeah. with a message on to see what range we can get. I do believe that that is your red arrow over there that you shot with your bow. And my one is way down there. I didn't shoot any red arrows. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. I shot purple and pink. I am sure you did. <laughs> ah, same distance, 98. 92. 92. Here's the big one. All right, stayed on and... 106. 106. That is good range for heavy arrows and a big full, full-size bit of paper attached to it. So... Let us see what the message was. How dare you? That's just, that's just inappropriate. We could get cancelled. Can't read that on air, my goodness. Same 
This is, this is something that the French would say to the English. My goodness. Alrighty, what do we have? 165. What? 165. 165? Whew! And let's and get my red one down here. This pink one looks very pink. Look, it even has a pink knock. Yeah, but it has red feathers, which I was shooting is 174. 174! For mine. 174! That's some heat. That's some good range. I find it interesting the difference between these arrows and these bigger ones. Uh, that's a significant range difference, honestly. Um, can you. Can we see? Is that is that the red arrow there? What? I can see a little thing of red. red I want to turn this into an actual creek. Wouldn't that be awesome? Um, technically, it is a creek at the moment. Get get the water flowing through. Get a close up of that. Oh, she's squishy. Hey, Tyrant! Yeah? You having trouble crossing there? Yes, I Can't do you not. cross a little stream? I do not have shoes built for this. <laughs> Neither do I, I'm wearing runners. Yeah, I'm not, I'm wearing something worse. <laughs> so, this arrow might be lost, hey? <laughs> Not to interrupt Shad, but I'm Tyrant. This is how you spell it for anybody who's been a little unclear. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about bows and well, arrows and messages, of course. You may have seen how effective or ineffective. What really matters is where you place the message. Not only where you place the message, but how tight the message is. Now, would I recommend this as a uh, form of communication? Not really. However, there are some genuine aspects where this could have been useful as you may know something like shooting a message across a river to get to the other people on the other side. Well, that's pretty practical and something that may have genuinely been used in the battlefield or maybe just in medieval times. It also may have been used to coordinate troops. Now, I don't know if there's any historical precedent for this. However, one could have probably assume that someone somewhere would have used an arrow to send a message to coordinate some troops at some point. At least that's my take on it. However, it's not the best way to send a paper message. This is. Kind of effective, if I was aiming for someone on the right. So what do you think? How viable do you reckon shooting message on an arrow? Well, I think it's very viable. I mean, I'm not someone who enjoys social media, so I would be considering to send messages directly to you this way from now on. Well, interestingly enough, uh, for a lot of social media, people send stuff specifically to people that they want to kill. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and this could do double duty. It could, it really could. Get, get both done, the one message. I am a big proponent of this, going back to this sort of method. Yeah, I, I, I think duels would be a great way to resolve a lot of the conflict in the world. Well, so if I have a duel with you, do I get everything you have? Well, you, you technically do, but what's also great about that, it resolves the conflict because one person's dead you can and get, no more arguing. You can get all my nothing and then yeah. I'll get all this good stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Fantastic. I'll get the bragging rights and glory. <laughs> You're not my first. Uh, <laughs> But there are certain limitations, as we did find. Yes. You know, range was an issue. Mm. Uh, having the message stay attached yeah, is an has, issue. Has to be nice and tight. Nice and tight. But if you get it nice and tight, you can, you know, shoot it pretty far. Well, I like to get it nice and tight. Yeah, yeah, and uh, get some get some successful sort of successful results. But let us know what you think in the comments below. Are there situations where it would be more viable? We came up with one, you know, shooting across the river, we lost the arrow, but... Uh, or a voicemail, a voicemail? Leaving a voicemail on Well, 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 this is the other thing, right? For the ranges in what we're kind of shooting at, you might be able to achieve just as much by yelling. The thing is that like, other people, if you want like a covert, yeah. and, and only people who see the message, yeah. but other people find the message, but let, are there situations that make it more viable? But you are a very loud person. I am very loud. I am not. True, true. So I would send it through an arrow. And you have the advantage of potentially killing the person, which you might want to do anyway. Well, I mean, sometimes good things just happen as accidents. Exactly. 
love to read those comments. I hope, I hope to see them. And of course, I hope to see you here on the next video on Shadowverse. So until that time, farewell.